Hello, I'm Walter Korshetz, the director of the National Institute for Neurological Disorders and Stroke. And thanks for letting me offer a couple of remarks to the Rehab Research 2020 conference, envisioning a functional future. As a stroke physician, it was always exciting to be able to run in and try to prevent brain injury in someone with an acute ischemic stroke. It has been a pleasure and an honor at NINDS to work on ways of preventing stroke. But in fact, the real art of medicine is in actually working with people who have suffered a disability whether it's due to stroke, a traumatic brain injury, or a hip fracture, um, to obtain their optimal function. And that's what rehab medicine, I think, is at its center. There is, I believe, um, you know, a, a, a new potential area that we hopefully will get into uh, in the future. And that comes out of what a what is known as the BRAIN Initiative. The BRAIN Initiative is focused on developing technologies to monitor, map, and modulate neural circuits. And when you think about the person who has had a neurologic injury and comes to rehab, what we're trying to do is either to improve the, the brain's ability to rewire and recover, or the brain's ability to develop new circuits and compensate, or in the instances where we cannot do that, to provide the type of assistive devices that optimize function. And I think hopefully within the next 10 years, these tools from the Brain Initiative will allow us to map out the circuits that are injured, um, to actually see them in the process of rewiring, and potentially to develop ways to enhance their rewiring for the functional benefit of the patient. And so this is what I would call circuit-based rehab. Now it's still in the future, but I think that it is something that is incredibly exciting to consider going forward. Even now people have certainly used circuit activity to uh, control assistive devices such as computers. And this area was, is going to be further refined in the next 10 years. Um, so I, I think that if I was going to go into neurology at this point in time, I would go into recovery um, and rehab. I think that is the future. And I think that is where uh, neuroscience brings its most ammunition. So you asked about envisioning a functional future, and I telling you about the future. <laughs> so it's a pleasure to talk to you and have a great conference. Thanks very much.